one by one, the 16 young activists who've taken on the state are applauded as they head into the courthouse one final time. The group have become local heroes, bringing the first climate case of its kind to trial. The youngest, just five years old here at the back. They argue that their health is being harmed by state policy that favours fossil fuels and that the government has a duty to protect citizens from climate change. Coal-powered plants produce almost half of Montana's electricity. The state argued pollution was insignificant. The judge ruled otherwise. Montana's emissions and climate change have proven to be a substantial factor in causing climate impacts to Montana's environment and harm and injury to the youth plaintiffs. This is an unprecedented victory in a U.S. court. The young activists want it to force the state away from using fossil fuels. I hope that because Judge Seeley ruled our current energy policy unconstitutional that we might be able to construct an energy policy that's more in line with Montana's goals and constitution. Though the ruling only affects the state of Montana, lawyers for the group say they believe it may cause a domino effect across the country. The clearest thing, or at least this initial first step, right, is that as of today, as of this order, it's unconstitutional for the state of Montana to continue permitting fossil fuel business as usual. They must consider the, the, violate, the constitutional rights of young people. State officials have called the ruling absurd. The reverberations from this small group's success could now impact the future energy policy of the whole state.